Hello, Kids Maker Mischief here, back with another video, and today I'm gonna be working on my 1941 Ford 9N. In the last video, you guys saw that it was working good, and then I burnt a wire right here, right down here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty burnt up because it was rubbing on this belt and I didn't see it. Started smelling it, and then it was too late. So we're gonna be trying to replace that today. We're trying not to take off the hood because it's kind of a pain. We have to take off my brand new steering wheel and then lift a whole thing up and we have to take a bunch of bolts and stuff off. So we're gonna try to do that today. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. Once we get these wires snipped off, we'll just pull the burnt one out like that. So this goes up here, up into this part right here, and then it connects to one of these spark plugs. I don't know which one yet, so I'm going to try to figure that out. So guys, I just pulled on the broken wire, and as you can see, it's this one right here. So the second one in, just going to make sure power's off. There we go. Then... Pop this one off. Just like that. And now I'm going to try to take this end sleeve off right here. There we go. I'm going to need to keep this. And now I should be able to go over here and then pull this out. Just like that got it pulled out and now I'm gonna to need to make a new one out of some more materials to replace this old burnt one so guys in the Amazon kit I bought it came with an extra wire so I'm just gonna size it up to this old burned one and then I will replace the two ends it came with a lot of extra ends too and then the rubber caps. This is gonna be my new wire right here. So now I'm just gonna make it so there's a little bit of copper wire sticking out. So we're gonna take this little copper or metal piece and then take this little piece of wire and then stick it through right, right there, just like that. And then we're just gonna squish this. I'll use the vise right here, handy. There we go. Make sure that's nice and tight on there. And then we're gonna put this rubber like protector on here. It just keeps moisture from getting in and then shorting the spark plugs out. So I made sure this fit, I popped it in there and now I'm gonna be working on the other end that actually connects to the spark plug. So let's do it. As you can see, this is the other part. So this is gonna slide on here and then we're gonna squish this down and then the top is gonna connect to the spark plug like this. There we go, that should be good. And now I just need to get a sleeve to slide over here to match this one. But first, I need to put in the tractor before I get too carried away. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to snake it through here because last time we had to take the hood off. Okay, I got it on the other side down here. That was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. That makes me very, very, very happy. So now I'll just be able to slide this cup back on here. Cup sleeve, I don't know what to call it. Comment down below if you know the proper name. Cap, I don't know. So now I'll be able to snap this on here. And this will actually be my first time doing a spark plug wire all by myself without anyone helping me. So I hope this works. Okay, I think I completed this side. 
to be able to snap on there. Just nice. The sleeve will slide over, keep the moisture out. And now we have to work on the opposite end over here to connect this right here. Just pull that a little tighter. Pull this back. It's harder to do this one handed. There we go. I think, I think I've done it. You can see why it rubbed off and burned right there. It's touching. And then I'll put a couple zip ties on it, make it look all fancy. And that will be it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Just kidding. Do you guys think I was gonna end the video without trying to start this tractor? And hopefully it won't smoke. <laughs> so we got one zip tie on there to hold it from hitting this. Nothing should be hitting the belts anymore and these should be connected in there. Now we're gonna turn on the juice, turn on the key. Nothing smoking, that's encouraging. And then I think I have the gas on. I'll just double check. Gotta climb over the tractor. It's kind of tight in the shop today. Got a couple th projects going on. Like that engine over there, that's another project. Um, turn the gas on. Make sure this is on the tight. There we go. Thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you next time.